Hey there folks, welcome back to another video on our channel. Today we're diving deep into the world of geothermal heat pumps and whether they're the right choice for you or not. Now I know it can get pretty chilly, especially if you live in a place like South Dakota. So finding the most efficient way to heat your home is crucial. By the end of this video, you will know exactly if geothermal heating is right for you or not. So let's get started. Consideration number one, understanding geothermal heat pumps. You have no idea how many people actually misunderstand how geothermal energy works. In simple terms, they are a heating and cooling system that tap into the Earth's constant temperature to regulate your home's temperature. Unlike traditional HVAC systems, geothermal heat pumps use a stable underground temperature as a heat source in the winter and a heat sink in the summer making it one of the most innovative systems in arguably human history. Consideration number two, energy efficiency. One of the main advantages of geothermal heat pumps is they are incredibly energy efficient. See, these systems can save you up to 60% on your heating and cooling bills compared to the conventional systems. Now, who wouldn't want that? Especially in places where the winters can be brutal. Number three, long-term savings. Now I get it folks, installing a geothermal heat pumps can be a bit of an investment up front. But here's the thing, they pay for themselves over time. With lower energy bills and fewer maintenance costs, you will start seeing those savings stack up. Plus, there might be some federal and state incentives to sweeten the deal. Consideration number four, environmental benefits. If you're like me and care about the environment, geothermal heat pumps are a great choice. They're eco-friendly and produce significantly fewer greenhouse gas emissions than traditional heating and cooling systems. So you can keep your home comfortable while doing your part for Mother Earth. Consideration number five, geothermal heat pumps installation. Now let's talk about the installation process. It's a bit more involved than swapping out an old furnace. I'll admit that you'll need some space for underground loops, which can be either horizontal or vertical. Depending on your property, it's best to consult with a professional to determine the right setup for your specific situation. Consideration number six, maintenance and longevity. Maintenance is another important aspect to consider. Geothermal heat pumps are known for their durability, often lasting up to 25 years or more. But like any other system, they do require regular maintenance. Nothing too complicated though, just periodic checkups to keep everything running smoothly. Consideration number seven, climate suitability. Now here's a crucial point. Geothermal heat pumps work well in just about any climate, but they're especially efficient in regions with extreme temperature swings. So if you're tired of battling those frigid winters and scorching summers, this could be a solution you've been looking for. Number eight, geothermal heat pumps and your property. It's essential to assess whether your property is suitable for geothermal heat pumps. Factors like soil type, land availability, and the size of your home play a role. Again, a professional can help you determine if your property is a good fit for the system or not. And the final consideration is geothermal heat pump costs. Now let's get back to the costs. I know that it can be a concern, but think of it as an investment. Over time, the savings on your energy bills will add up, making that initial expense well worth it. Plus, as technology advances, the costs are coming down, making geothermal heat pumps more accessible than ever. In conclusion, geothermal heat pumps can be an excellent choice for heating and cooling your home. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and see you on the next one.